All right, hello, uh, Maglot again here. Uh, a lot of you guys are asking me how do I get the ink lines in my pictures to be so dark and crisp. Basically, I just ink them. Uh, I don't. Uh, I can't. I could never really get to learn to draw in Photoshop using my Wacom tablet. Uh, I just. I, I learned how to draw on paper, so that's what I'm comfortable with. So that's how I do it. I still draw on paper, and then I'll ink them and, and scan them into uh, Photoshop later. The way I go about inking them, first off, is I have a light box. And this is, uh, this cost me like $40 or, or so uh, at Hobby Lobby. It's a hobby shop near me. And it's basically just a hollow compartment. It's not very, very thick. And it plugs into the wall and you have a light that comes on. Um, and I have a drawing here so I can show you. Um, and basically what I'll do is I'll use some, some uh, masking tape or any kind of tape that is uh, not that adhesive because you don't want to tear the paper when you do have to take it off. It just kind of tape the corners down and then you, I have this tracing paper. Uh, any kind will do pretty much. It's, it's the, the thinner the better. That's why I, you know, I bought it because it says most translucent available. Um, and you use that. You simply get a sheet that looks like Bible paper almost. You put that on top and you tape it down, and you can pretty much see through. But when you turn the light on, it gives you an easy. You can get a lot more detail. And you basically will take these pins that I have here. These are uh, drafting pins. There and they have an extremely, extremely fine point on them. Uh, Zig Millennium is the brand that I use. Uh, and I have a number five and a number one, and the, the number one is like super, super. Uh, using my iPhone to do this so I can't really zoom or anything. As you can see the lines are practically the exact same thickness as the lines that I draw with my pencil. I use a mechanical pencil so I don't have to sharpen. Uh, so I have you know very thin lines for detail like I did in this picture and then I have the thicker ones for the outside. And You just draw the picture like normal for this style draw it in like normal and then you kinda have to go around and just trace the outside of it and make it thicker follow the same lines that you had and once you do that um, and I'll zoom in on it you can see that the original drawing is not completely dark I mean there's some lightness to it there's a lot of you know parts where I erased um, and it's pretty messy looking actually so once you actually go over and ink it and by the way, if you're thinking, well, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy all this stuff. I'll just ink right over the pencil. When you ink over the pencil, you're still going to have all this junk, and you're going to have to erase it. When you erase it, you're going to erase some of the ink, and it's going to come out faded. So don't do it. This is the actual inked version. And as you can see, it's extremely dark. Um, it's not, uh, you know, don't don't tr don't think you can go. Also, just go buy any ink pen, like a ballpoint big pen, and go over it. It uses a type of gel ink that is uh, very sticky. You'll it'll stick to your palms. You'll smear it all over. This is India ink. It dries a lot faster and a lot more. It's a lot more consistent. And you can see that the lines are very dark and uh, very consistent. So that's pretty much the first part. And I'll have to take this into Photoshop and uh, scan it in. And still, I'll have to adjust the lines. And there's a second part to that that I'll show you coming up.